Hey everyone, this is Vil Miranda with Streamline Events located here in San Diego, California. Today we're going to go over how to properly mount some LCD screens to your tripods or trussing. We're going to go over two specific ways that I have found to be most convenient. So what I'm going to show you first is the Gator Frameworks LCD-1 tripod. The tripod actually comes with a two-piece mounting harness. You have the actual mount that goes to the pole itself and then you also have a square flat plate. Now, the actual plate is not made for a TV more than about 40 inches. They're, the mounting holes actually don't meet. So what I've done is I've modified some things. I'm going to go over those modifications with you and I've tested these modifications to hold up to a 55 inch screen with absolutely no problem. So what you're going to need, aside from the Gator Frameworks tripod, is you're going to need this particular Stanley wall mount. So this is a Stanley wall mount that I got from Fry's Electronics here in San Diego. I'm going to give you guys the model number. It is a TLREC3211T. It holds a 32 to 70 inch TV. The reason you need that is because this is the actual wall plate. This wall plate here is the piece that mounts onto this bracket. Okay, we're going to go over that in just a second. The first modification I did out of a safety concern was I actually took this piece, I'm gonna come up a little closer here. I took this piece and I actually unbolted these bolts and I flipped the unit itself. And as you can see, my arch angle won't allow the TV to tilt forward, okay? When I first got this, this was flipped the other way and it allows the TV to tilt down. With a heavy TV, you don't want the TV tilting, okay? So that was the first modification was just to flip that bracket. Now, what I did was I took some bolts, I went down to Home Depot, and I grabbed some three quarter inch bolts and lock washers, um, sorry, lock nuts, and I mounted the plate right on here. So that's exactly what you see. And all you have to do is simply slide that right up there and click it into place and it's ready to mount your TV. The reason I really like these Stanley ones is because it already has a level in there so you can already see where you're at. Now, if you had a TV ready to mount, these are the actual wall mounts that it comes with. So these basically stay on my TV. They have the J hooks in the back. So simply one person alone can pick up the TV, hook on, and then let the TV wait, snap them in, and your TV would be completely mounted. All right, so that right there is how I've done it with the Gator Framework Stand. Now, moving on to the trussing itself, the cool thing about this particular mounting bracket from Stanley is the fact that I was able to bolt directly the O-clamps that Global Trust does sell. This is not secure, I'm just gonna flip it around. Um, I was able to use the small clamps right here on the back and I did switch out those bolts for the same bolts that I had put in the previous mount just so that way it could stay here permanently. Once again, it is convenient to have because once your trussing is up and you've got your base plate on, you at least have a level to let you know that the TV's straight. Now the one good thing about this too, I want you to keep in mind, is that because of the way that this mounts, the way that it actually grabs onto the trussing, your TV will not tilt forward because you actually have a double grab right there on that mount, which is one of the things that I like is I like to keep my screens facing forward. I don't like my screens to drag down. I want them flat because most people are at a distance and I don't need to actually push them down. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me at sleventspro at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.